So if we take a, a scenario, um, we have a report back of maybe a quality issue, or maybe the FDA shows up at your door and they have a product, a single bottle of something in your hand, in their hands, and it has a lot number on it. And you have to get to your, your data and tell them everything that you have about it, cook times or mix times or tinsel strengths or, or whatever the, the items that you need to provide are. We need to get to that rapidly. So let's say we have a lot number, and we need to look it up by that lot number. And we can actually search for things in many different ways here, actually more ways than we see listed here. But um, because we have the lot number, we can actually just start typing it in. And it will give us the appropriate um, selections based on what we're typing in. It keeps narrowing it down fewer and fewer lot numbers until we get to the one we want. So I want you to think about a little bit today what you would do in this situation in your company, or if you're an integrator, what your customers do. You have a lot number, and you need to look up the information. And then we can pull this information out, and we can, you know, do, um, it, you know, it'd be great, actually, put it in tables, in, in rows and columns. That would be fantastic. But it really is not intuitive and not navigable. So it's hard to get to your other data from that. So what we came up with is something a little bit different. We want to show, here's our lot number that I selected, and that's the finished goods. And I want, want to do things like see where that shipped to. Here's all the sales orders and the customers that went to. That's the first bit of information. So this may have been in a separate system, not even in ignition. Maybe we've cleared the ERP system and got that information. But because we have the lot number and we have the, the data shipped and those different things, we can query that other system and get this. Uh, we can see it went to bottling, and we have the bottles um, that were the lot of bottles that we used for that. We even have when we unloaded it. Uh, we have our, our liquid product, in this case balsamic dressing. It was in a holding tank. We have our mixing that we went through then our ingredients that fed into the mixing, when those were unloaded. And granted, this is a pretty simple thing. In most operations, it's much more detailed. This just makes it easier to explain here. But you visually see it. This is the first time I've seen this ever um, in all the years I've been in this in industry. It, it's just a picture's worth a thousand words. And to be, visually be able to see this and navigate through it and see what happened. It's just very valuable. If you want to try Ignition, if you want to get deeper into looking at the track and trace, we're going to be scheduling demos to be able to do that for you so you can have your own chance um, with Tom and his team and the sales team here. Um, it, next step, really, is if you're interested, is just download Ignition. Uh, go to inductiveautomation.com, get a full version for free, install, build your own system, look at it as much as you want before you even decide to buy.